Where do you place the blame? The blame for this is, is Donald Trump. He is the one that has been spreading conspiracy theories, falsehood. He is the one who is pressuring governors of, of states like Georgia uh, and, 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 and secretaries of states uh, of, of states like Georgia to find him missing votes. Um, he is the one that is rejecting uh, their results of this election, which have been con which have been certified by all 50 governors. Um, it is this president who has incited his supporters to this violence. And even as he did just now spend barely a minute telling people to go home, he continued to spread lies about the election. Uh, this, is, this is Donald Trump's fault. Uh, he is fully responsible for this today, and it is shameful. I would never, I never in my entire adult life, serving both first in the Army and now in the legislative branch, would ever imagine that it is the President of the United States of America who would be the one to incite violence and have people storm the steps of the United States Capitol. Never would I imagine that this could possibly happen. But it did today. But you know what? Democracy will prevail. We will not be deterred by this unruly mob. We will continue to move forward and follow the guidance of our Constitution and make sure that we carry out the will of the American people. And then we need to get to work and we need to come together, Democrats and Republicans, and get help to working families and fight this pandemic and get our economy moving again. And we can only do that together, together as partners.